Hello everyone. Um, this is Jeff and Kosana. Uh, we are about to present to you our project that we've been working on, which is lightning ground strike point analysis over Jebek area. This is the background of the project. Ground flash density maps have been used to quantify the amount of lightning risk in certain areas. A lightning flash is made up of multiple strokes hitting the ground. Therefore, underestimating the contribution of multiple ground contact points can lead to an inaccurate density plot. Thus, this project is about investigating whether the current density maps underestimate lightning risk. The image on the slide shows the lightning flash. The flash is made up of multiple strokes, as you can see, which are the branches of the lightning flash. Um, it, it is observable that the lightning flash hits the Jovic area in two locations, which are our ground contact points. So the subsequent strokes can follow this existing path or can create new ground contact points. The following two pictures below show the lightning strokes in the Houghton region that were detected by the South African Lightning Detection Network. So on the left is the strokes uh, ground contact points that is estimated by the lightning detection network and on the right is the density plot of the strokes that are plotted on the left. This is one of South Africa lightning density map and we're going to investigate if it over or underestimate the risk of lightning. On this slide on the left is a flash density plot and on the right is a ground strike point density plot. So. The difference between the two is that the GSP density plot has more ground strike points than the flash density plot because the flash density plot does not take into account the multiple ground strikes of each flash. So this difference is also observable on the images themselves. The GSP has more red pixels than the flash density plot which shows that it has more ground contact points thus it and it estimates the lightning risk more accurately in these two images we can speculate whether the lightning risk was underestimated by studying how much lightning was concentrated in a particular area 